and here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Ty. I'm Zara. We are getting into a new stand-up special for the channel today. Woo! It's okay. a name that we're all familiar with, but surprisingly, yes. Ty has never seen any of his stand-up bit. I know, yeah. I don't know why. I yeah. thought he's like his like probably first earlier ones, no. but I don't even remember those. Yeah, but. It's funny to me. I like, I like him. But have you seen The Office, the British yeah, yeah, version? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing Cars. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the only one who has, has <laughs> seen it. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, I even watched the American version. I love the American version. But she's no, a yeah. fan of the, 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 the Ricky version. That's the one I saw first. I didn't watch the American one. I, yeah. the American one. Yeah. I heard about it afterwards, of course. Got it, got it, yeah. It is a classic. Yeah. So I'm very familiar with the guy. So. <laughs> I like his humor though. Yeah, so this is a Ricky Gervais 2022 stand-up special, Super Nature. Ooh. Not Supernatural, nope. Super Nature. Yeah, super right. Freak. No. <laughs> We've done a few of them on this channel. It's been a while, but we want to pick up Ricky Gervais again because yeah. he did come out recently. So this is 2024. He had, what, uh, uh, an award-winning yeah. special, his like latest, after this one? Yeah, his latest special, Armageddon, won a Golden Globe, I believe. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to jump into the one right before Armageddon. So it is Super Nature from 2022. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, so hit the notification bell. All right, we ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, man. You're ready. Right, let's do this. And here we go. Welcome to my show. Uh, it's not a show. There's no dancers or jugglers. It's basically a bloke talking, um, which is essentially what stand-up comedy is, isn't it? A bloke talking. Sexist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about all the funny female comedians? Like, um... Oh. <laughs> right. no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Okay, right. That was irony, okay? There's gonna be a bit of that throughout the show. See if you can spot it, okay? Now, that's when I say something I don't really mean for comic effect, and you as an audience, you laugh at the wrong thing because you know what the right thing is. It's a way of satirizing attitudes. Like that first joke, I use the old-fashioned sexist trope that women aren't funny. Now, in real life, I know there are loads of funny women. Like, um... Yeah. <laughs> I did it again, well spotted, good. <laughs> no, but there are. Um, Dame Edna Everidge. She's... <laughs> uh, Eddie That's Izzard. Well. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> she's brilliant, isn't she? <laughs> she's not only a great comedian, she's, she's also a great actress, isn't she? <laughs> She was brilliant in that thing as that man. <laughs> <laughs> so you get it. Yeah, yeah. They're all men. Right <laughs> oh, they're all men that dressed yeah. up as women. Oh. I fell back in love with stand-up on my last tour, Humanity. I played arenas around the world. Netflix bought it for a record amount. It was the most watched special of the year. I thought, everyone loves me now. Oh. Everyone loves me now. Uh -oh. Then I got this tweet. Oh, okay. Real tweet. I... Call yourself a comedian. He knows I do. <laughs> <laughs> Literally says the word in my Twitter bio. <laughs> Call yourself a comedian. You're about as funny as. Now I thought he was going to go for the jugular and say Miranda or. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Don't. <laughs> I'm joking. Right. Call yourself a comedian. You're about as funny as a fart at a baby's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, he was trying to hurt my feelings. But his big mistake was choosing someone that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> as if that would a fart at a baby's funeral. <laughs> Big echoey church. Everyone just silently sobbing like that. <laughs> tiny little coffin, tiny little coffin. <laughs> And someone farts, <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> Even if it was your baby. You know, no. <laughs> if you're at the funeral, it's been dead a week, do you know what I mean? It's <laughs> you're probably up for a giggle. Um, oh, man. Particularly if you're the father. If you're the mother, you probably still find it hard seeing the funny side of things. <laughs> oh, women. Uh. <laughs> Not all women. I, I mean the old-fashioned ones. You know, the old-fashioned women. Oh, God. You know, the ones with wombs. 
Those fucking dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> no, I love the, the new women. I know the new women. They're great, aren't they? The, you know the new ones we've been seeing lately? The, one, the ones with beards and cocks. They're, oh. as as, <laughs> they're as good as gold. I love them. <laughs> No, it's the old fashioned with it. And now the old fashioned, they're like, oh, they want to use our toilets. Why shouldn't they use your toilets? For ladies. They are ladies. Look at their pronouns. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What about this person that isn't a lady? Well, his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Her penis, you no. fucking bigot. <laughs> <laughs> What if he rapes me? What if she rapes me? Oh, <laughs> you fucking turf whore. <laughs> oh, man. But that tweet sums comedy up, doesn't it? How subjective it is. How one person, some people can find them hilarious, some people find them the, the least funny person in the world. And when someone says to me about another comedian, they say, oh, they're not funny. Even if I agree with them, I stand up, I say, well, you can't say that. You've got to say, you don't find them funny, you know? And I hate it when people say, that joke was offensive. I go, I say, no, you've got to say, you found it offensive. Because it's all about feelings, and feelings are personal. And there's loads of types of comedy, and comedy evolves, you know? There's a new type of comedy at the moment called woke comedy, right? Mm. No, it's yeah. very progressive, you know? There are some clubs now where the comedian has to sign a thing saying he won't say anything contentious, or he won't say anything that, that could what? offend anyone. It's a safe space for the audience. What? Woke comedy. And uh, I tried to watch a bit of it, and I decided I'd rather watch Louis C.K. masturbate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't mention him anymore. He's cancelled. Uh, mm -hmm. Not enough to apologise and move on. You've got to, like poor Kevin Hart. See Kevin Hart. He got the job hosting the Oscars. It was his best day ever. He was on Twitter going, "Oh, I've wanted to do this all my life, right?" And then s someone found these ten-year-old tweets, right? That they were sort of childish, sort of shitty, homophobic tweets. It, it was about his son. He was mucking around. He said, "Oh, my son's doing so and so. I hope he's not gay." There was a massive backlash. He went, "Oh, sorry. That sound. I'm not homophobic. Really sorry." He deleted them, right, and said, "I'm really sorry." Um, ten years later, someone finds a screen grab and goes, "Look, he's done this." Oh, big. Uh, the Oscars go, "Oh, you got to apologise again." He went, "No." I've apologised. I can't keep apologising. And he's right. If there's no value to saying sorry and evolving, he might as well just tweet him again. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I deal with shit. Anyway. Yeah. But if you're the type of person to revel in someone getting cancelled for something they said ten years ago, you're just ensuring that one day you'll be cancelled for something you said today. You can't predict what will be offensive in the future. You don't know who the dominant mob will be. You know, like, the worst thing you can say today, get you cancelled on Twitter, death threats, whatever, the worst thing you can say today is, women don't have penises, right? <laughs> now, no one saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> there are no 10-year-old tweets of people saying, there are, you won't find a 10-year-old tweet of someone saying, women don't have penises. <laughs> Do you know why? We didn't think we fucking had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liam Neeson. Oh. oh, what happened? He nearly got cancelled, didn't he? Liam Neeson. Now, I don't know why he told this story, <laughs> but he did at a press junket to a journalist, right? And it was where he just started saying, uh, it was 30 years ago, he said, and uh, my friend came home and um, she'd been raped. Right? And uh, that's not the funny bit. That's <laughs> 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 I don't know why I laughed as well. <laughs> I said, she'd been raped. I said, what did the guy look like? Uh, he said, he was a black guy. He said, so I got my kosh, and I went out looking for the first black guy. He said, nothing happened. I came to my senses, right? But the weird thing about that story is, who has a kosh? <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> but it was touch and go. They cancelled the premiere that night because of the backlash and that people wanted the film to be deleted. And I get it. Some people can't separate the art form with the artist's personal life. Now, I know Liam. I've worked with him. He's a lovely man. He's definitely not racist. But when that broke, even I was like, oh, will I ever be able to find Schindler's List funny again? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do still find it funny, obviously. Yeah. 
But now there's so much outrage, and we hear about it, and it's taken seriously, you know? There's uh, Oxbridge comedians writing for the posh papers, thinking of the rules of comedy. They're laying it down, laying down the law, right? And it's all stuff like, um, comedy should punch up. You should never punch down. You should never punch down. Sometimes you've got to punch down. Like, if you're beating up a disabled toddler. Oh. I mean, <laughs> if you punch up, you'll miss the little cunt, and he'll win, you know? <laughs> I like that joke because it highlights the difference between metaphorical punching down in jokes and actual <laughs> punching down. But people nowadays want you to believe that words are actual violence, right? Now, you laughed at a joke about beating up a disabled toddler. No one got hurt. If I'd have actually dragged out a disabled toddler <laughs> and started beating him up, you would laugh, right? <laughs> That's why I dropped that bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But these people are virtue signaling. They're trying to bring people down to raise their own status. And they say it's because, no, we're protecting minorities. Like, they're basically saying minorities haven't got a sense of humour, which is so patronising. And I get that as well, uh, to what it's like to be outnumbered. In this country, we're still only 5% black, 5% Asian, 5% LGBTQ, you know, tiny numbers. Now, I'm a white, heterosexual, multi-millionaire. <laughs> 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 There's less than one percent of us. <laughs> Do I whine? No. <laughs> I don't mind. Just get on with it. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. Just keep. Fun. I'm like Rosa Parks. Do you know what I mean? I'm like... <laughs> Except I fought for the right to never have to take a seat on a bus. Oh. <laughs> wow. Just hard. people complain about things they don't have to watch. It doesn't affect them, you know. And uh, again, everyone's got the right to be offended and complain, but, but they've got to know that we're not trying to offend. That's not our aim, you know. We're, we're trying to make you laugh. We're trying to give you a good time. And yeah, that is the deal, right? So I riff. If, if I say something tonight that's so offensive, so off that you've never heard anything so fucking off the charts in your life, right? Don't make a scene. Go to the box office after the show. They can't give you money back straight away, but there's a form you fill out with the complaint, and I take those away, and I shit on them. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the rules of comedy. <laughs> oh, man.